This is Belmore Castle uh, train. You kind of refer to as blue so train. Say you want to take pictures of blue train? Yeah, I'm okay. videoing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. And also, while that, um, in the meantime, I'll record the train on the Alpen Express. Yeah, absolutely. Take pictures. Thank you. I refer it to as name, but also I can refer it to its uh, all age called name. Kind of called Green Train. I would call it a kid friendly name, but they have the. Okay. Yeah. Because of, because the train uses water, and no, which is well, this whistles are actually that of a ferry boat. My nanny kind of was kind of a little of an antagonist sign, but so she kind of pronounced it festivation on the coaches. Oh, so that is, and, is pronounced Krishche Stutzbahn. Oh, yeah. It means Prussian State Railway. Yeah. In yeah. <laughs> yes. And I was like, yeah, usually my used to my nanny would could just call stores the wrong name. The wrong you want me to see a blue train again? Yeah. <laughs> So what Steve is doing right now is throughout the day when the engines are sit sitting cold with no fire in them, the steam pressure goes down. Yeah. So periodically the throughout the day we'll have somebody get on the engine and yeah. put a little more steam on it. Yeah. Just to keep all the engines around 150 pounds of steam, yeah. in case something happens with our main trains, we have a backup train ready to go. Yeah. You guys got any more questions about the blue train? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, recently they, they removed the uh, light blue lining. Yes, they have removed the uh, blue pinstriping. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it did look really pretty, but honest. Yeah, but, it looked, but I do like updates. Do what? I do like updates. Oh, yeah. It still looks really pretty. But, yeah, but...
light, you have a high, they have a low beam, and then you have a high beam on there, which makes it easier to run at nighttime. Now, like most American trains, we actually follow American rules, even though our trains are European, and we actually run with the headlight on all day long. Yeah. Didn't so the, this ensure safety. Didn't the train had uh, have uh, yellow light? Yellow? Yeah, um, kind of. Well, uh, up until 2018, we had incandescent bulbs, which made a yellow effect to make the lights brighter. Because I can, I can vouch that the older headlights are not bright at all. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I get to see the train move around. Uh, so yeah, the headlights on the engine are much brighter now, and it's so nice to run at nighttime. I guys, you see where I'm going? Yes. If you guys have any more questions, any more pictures, anything you want. Hmm. Four, one, two, three, uh, on British trains? Now, that was actually the... But when we put water in the train, you don't see anybody climb up on top, do you? You guys can come in here. You guys don't see anybody go up on the top of the train, do you? Mm -hmm. So, we actually have a ground hookup at our water tower. See that black hose? It actually plugs into the side of the tender, and that's how I put water in the train. Because yeah. many, many years ago, back in the 1980s, before I was even thought of, or was born or alive and all that, one day they are putting water in the engine. Hey guys. One day they are putting water in the engine, and somebody forgot to take the hose out. And that's why that water spout is a little bent, because they try moving the train while there's still the water hose in there. Yeah. So from now on, ever since then, we've had the water hose on the ground to make it more safe and easier to put water. Yeah.